Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Eric. This is the North Country Outdoor Channel. This is my puppy Nikita. Hey, can you say hi? No? There she is. Last time you guys seen her, she was probably pretty small because I took that break from YouTube and uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is the third time that I've tried filming this. Uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Guys, why am I nervous? I, I just, it's been a while and I'm just like, oh my gosh, what if I screw up? So, uh, <laughs> with that being said, it's just, it's literally going to take me a minute to get back in the saddle here, guys. It's just like anything else, you know? You always know how to drive a stick shift, but you know what? You might stall it when you jump in there for the first time after not driving one for a while. So that's where we're going here. Like I said, my name is Eric. This is the North Country Outdoor Channel. We talk about business, we talk about life, we talk about anything that you want to talk about. Mostly business though. Um, when you hit the subscribe button, you make up the North Country Nation, which is growing. We're up over 5,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, with that being said, let's jump right into the video. Uh, I had reality smack me right in the face, guys, and I'm going to explain it to you. It's Hopefully you can follow along with me here. You guys know me. Sometimes I go off on weird, weird tangents. Thomas Sanders just sent me a Snapchat. I'm pretty sure that he's one of the subscribers, part of the North Country Nation. Hey, if you wanna follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, I will put those links in the description. I don't do my personal Facebook because that's kind of a family thing. Uh, some of you have found me on there. I can't, I can't control that. But uh, Snapchat and Instagram, definitely go ahead and follow me on there and uh, we'll have fun with that. So what I'm trying to say is, is reality really crap up and slap me in the face. And what I mean by that is, um, so I've been a tree guy for a while now, you guys know that. I've been a snowplow guy for even longer than I've been a tree guy. You guys also probably know that. But something has happened almost every year. Like last spring, I got hurt really early in the spring. So springtime tree work for me, it just, I, had, I was off for six weeks. So I didn't get to experience what I'm experiencing right now. And what I'm experiencing right now, it kind of sucks. And the first thing I experienced was straight up, there's usually a transition period from plowing to tree work. And this year there was no transition period, man. I was plowing one day and, and, and like two days later I'm getting calls for tree work because it was 50 degrees outside and I wasn't anywhere near ready. I hadn't touched my chainsaws. I hadn't touched the salt spreader to this day because we just got hammered with six inches of snow on April 15th, two days ago. Um, my salt spreader still in the salt truck, which is the truck that we chip into. So. I'm not complaining guys, I'm just saying this is all new to me and, and I'm learning lessons here and, and I, uh, that's why I do this channel. I want you guys to learn from my mistakes. So basically, I should have been doing saw maintenance all winter long. Instead of getting done plowing, being tired, going home, taking a nap, I should have came into the shop, I should have had the guys come in and we should have been a little bit more on top of that. With that being said, that can be dealt with. We're fine, the saws run, sharpen them up, clean them up, they're fine, we got that going. I still don't have my chip truck, but I'm working on getting a bucket truck right now with the box in the back, so that'll eliminate my chip truck. Um, so that, that's cool. So anyway, what the big devastating news is this. The companies are real cutthroat in the spring, and by cutthroat, I always talk about you know being cutthroat business, blah, blah, blah. What I'm talking about is, I bid nine jobs last week, guys. Nine jobs last Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I bid nine jobs. You know how many of those jobs that I got a call back from and we signed? Two. That's terrible. I don't even want to tell you guys that. That is, normally, if I'm batting 500, I'm happy. That means you win some, you lose some. If you win them all, you're too cheap. If you lose them all, you're too expensive. So I like to go right down the center at about 500, you know? So with that being said, I'm sitting there going, man, these people aren't calling me back. I call them and they say they went with a different company. Well, I got the inside scoop through the grapevine, something that I would bid for, let's just throw a number out there, say I bid a tree for 1800 bucks to take it down, haul, it, haul the wood off site, chip the brush and grind the stump, 1800 bucks. Big Dick Joe, you guys remember Big Dick Joe? He's gonna come in and he's gonna do that same job for 700 bucks. It's like, uh, what do you mean? Well, what's going on right now is a lot of these tree guys don't actually plow snow in the winter time like I do, so they're really chomping at the bit to get going. So they're doing work for like half price right now. I'm even giving out a 15% discount right now. I call it the annual beat the leaves special. If you get me in there and we take that tree down before the leaves pop, 
It's so much easier on us and I get 15% off. Even with my 15% off, hi baby, what do doing? Good puppy, huh? Yeah, we're on camera, bro. Turn around, look at them. <laughs> anyway, I, see, I lost my train of thought. Um, get down, honey, get down. Oh yeah, they're going in and they're doing it for half price because they need the work and they need it right now. So with that being said, I learned a valuable lesson and it's called swallow your pride, Eric. We know that you're an arrogant, cocky a-hole sometimes, but you need to get rid of that. And so what I started doing is I started realizing that as the summer goes on, in the fall, these companies are gonna get booked up. They're not gonna show up for their bids that they say they're gonna show up to. They're gonna bid them way high because they're like, I don't even want this job, but it's worth like say 1500 bucks, but I'm gonna bid it at three grand. And you know what, fuck it. If they do it, if they go for it, then we make bank. But otherwise, I don't even wanna do this job. So then when that stuff starts happening, everything kind of falls into place and I get my prices back up there. But what I'm trying to say is, is right now, if I can go out and make 250 bucks a day, I mean clear 250 um, after all expenses paid, then I need to do that. I need to not worry about, because my number that I need per day is way higher than 250, it really is. But if I can keep the payroll done, keep fuel in the trucks, keep everything paid for and clear 250 bucks and the guys got to work that day, I need to swallow my pride and go ahead and do that. And 250 is better than nothing. So with that being said, you guys just, just know that don't be afraid to throw out a little bit cheaper prices in the springtime because you know if you wanna get to work. Now I've gotten the last two bids that I've done, so that tells me that me swallowing my pride is really working out. So my dad just pulled in, so I'm gonna have to wrap this up. This is gonna be a short video anyway. So with that being said, I just wanna share that with you guys. That's my experience. I've, Nikita. With that being said, I wanna share that with you guys. That's been my experience this spring. It's a mistake that I've made. It's a mistake that I want you guys to learn from. So thanks for hanging out with me. I'll have another video coming out soon. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to uh, become a member of the North Country Nation with me. I would really appreciate that. And uh, just remember, tomorrow is a new day. Today sucked, okay, tomorrow's a new day. Be creative and own it. You are beautiful, you are amazing. I freaking love you. I'll see you next time.